in respect of the healthcare space that we are, what are the types of surveys that we normally do, Dr. Suhin? If, if I have to broadly classify it, uh, I like to classify it to mainly two types. Uh, descriptive or what we call it as a qualitative or analytical, what we say it as a quantitative uh, kind of a survey. Of course, there will be other bag where it is mixed using combination of features of say descriptive analysis, uh, descriptive survey as well as using uh, analytical uh, surveys. When we look at descriptive surveys, it means that uh, we want to focus on certain important factors at a given point in time. When we talk about, say, analytical, we are actually uh, talking about over a period of sampling. Uh, so you are going to collect samples after a certain period again to just see. So again, here you can divide it into court survey or you can divide it into trend analysis. Trend analysis would be over a period of sample. So samples may change the, uh, the, over a period of time. Whereas cohort, the samples remain the same. It's the same group of uh, patients or the same group of employees. You are trying to check out what interest would lie later on as well. So in nutshell, that was. Another uh, way of classifying or uh, typifying surveys would be uh, looking at the stakeholders themselves. If I have to look at stakeholders, it would be ex mainly the external stakeholders, the patients. The patients would be like what we do, patient satisfaction, patient feedback, patient post-discharge uh, 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 assessment, or PROM, like uh, Dr. Sanjeev Singh sir said about PROM, outcome measures. If I have to use the internal stakeholders, where uh, if suppose I'm talking about the services that we are talking about, imaging, a and &E or a, a pathology, we'll look at physician feedback, whether they are satisfied with the various features of the uh, laboratory service or imaging services. We may also look at various other employees. You know, the hospital may look at employee satisfaction or at the time of their uh, exit or uh, uh, leaving the institute, we HR may conduct a uh, another uh, survey to see the feedback, how it, uh, how the institute works for the employees and what the employees feel for the institute. Right. Uh, nicely put, Dr. Sovin. Uh